it's Ferguson and Nicholson over the ball and Scott Thompson just behind and there's Thompson it's deflected and it's in Thompson's goal eight minutes into the second half and a sixth goal of the season for Scott Thompson certainly seemed to take a deflection on its way in at the far post and Niemi was a beaten man so Scott Thompson does it again and he hopes his team can hold out this time 1-0 salvage operation continues and they've done it Stefan Adam rescues a point for Hearts right at the end 93 minutes on the clock and look how much it meant to Craig Levine deflecting in Andy Webster's header and Scott Thompson didn't have a chance of keeping it out to the firm one furious but they weren't able to hold out. Dundee looked home and dry after two goals in the first five minutes. Dunfermline were caught cold as Scotland midfielder Gavin Ray volleyed behind the helpless Scott Thompson. And Dunfermline had barely recovered before they were 2-0 down. Argentine striker Caballero brilliantly found his way past two defenders and then provided the perfect finish. Dunfermline pulled one back early in the second half after Barry Smith brought down Chris McGrorty. Referee Willie Young pointed straight to the spot. Scott Thompson stroked the penalty home past Spironi. So Dunfermline were right back in it, but then they were down to 10 men, as Stevie Crawford's night ended abruptly. After wrestling with keeper Spironi, referee Willie Young sent him off. Look out for number nine, Crawford, trying to get the ball from the Dundee keeper. Judge for yourself what happens, but Dunfermline manager Jimmy Calderwood has appealed against the decision. It didn't stop Dunfermline claiming a last-minute equaliser as Barry Nicholson headed home for a remarkable comeback. A valuable point, but Crawford's red card uppermost in the manager's mind. Ferguson picking out the run of Bullen. Gary Smith was covering across. And again it's Smith. Corner kick conceded. And the immediate threat from Bullen stifled in from Barry Nicholson and there's the opening goal for Stephen Hampshire the marking from Hibbs was poor it was all so easy for Dunfermline Nicholson's cross and the downward header from Hampshire was a scorer under pressure doesn't quite cover it at the moment for Frank Sozek is this long run without a win going to continue? Arpignon, Brewster again. Ian Murray cuts in. Craig Brewster for Derek Riordan. Gets himself turned and a useful effort on goal. They've been sadly lacking for Hibbs in this match, efforts on goal and that one had Scott Thompson flinging himself down to save Murray away from there Arpignon Townsley the equaliser It's relief as much as delight around Easter Road as Derek Townsley scores his second goal for Hibbs and it's the one which squares the game, timed the run to perfection and his header flicked the ball beyond Thompson and in for 1-1. Dears cross, blocked by this corner kick. Barry Nicholson to take the corner. Cortado was there. 
And here's a chance for Dunfermline, and it's just over. Gary Mason's header. Spinning over the top, there was a chance for Dunfermline to win the game. Nicholson did well to keep that in. Now has it back. Ndaye with a chance. It would have been a spectacular winner had it gone in from the Senegalese striker. Not a classic by any means at East End Park today, but Dunfermline were out of the trap quickest, and Livy almost paid an early price for failing to close down Jason Dare. Livingston's best chance of the half fell to Steve Tosh after a nicely constructed exchange between David Fernandez and David Bingham gave Fernandez the chance to cross. Tosh, unmarked, knew instantly he should have put Livingston into the lead. Livy enjoyed the lion's share of possession in the first 45 but didn't really cause the pars too many headaches, although getting the ball off David Fernandez at times was easier said than done. The better chances in the game were created by Dunfermline, who nearly scored twice before half-time. First, Scott Thompson's header was shepherded away by Michael Hart. And then the pace of wing-back Chris McGrothy created another opening down the left. His cross was perfect for Barry Nicholson. Nicholson connected well with the header, but Nick Culkin was in exactly the right place to keep it out. Nothing each at half-time then, but within five minutes of the restart, Dunfermline were ahead. McGrorty's poison pace did the damage down the wing. Culkin came for the cross and missed, leaving Lee Brullen with an open goal. Culkin thought Stephen Hampshire would get the touch, and Lee Brullen couldn't believe his luck. Livy came right back at Dunfermline, and Gary Bolin was only inches away from drawing his side level. Scott Thompson had a good game for the home side, pushing forward from the back, and did everything but score. Firstly, just missing the target, and then bringing out a fine instinctive save from Nick Culkin. Barry Nicholson's free kick perfectly weighted, but Culkin again perfectly positioned. Livy's last chance to draw level fell to substitute David Zouza, but after controlling the long punt, he couldn't control his shot. So no joy for Livingston today, and Dunfermline can still keep up the chase for a top six finish.